What is up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. If you guys are new, you already know, subscribe below and like the video if you guys enjoyed today. So before we get into anything, I'm just gonna say it right now, got a new deck. I'm super hyped because I haven't got a new deck since like, this was the last time I got a new deck. It looks a little bit different than probably the last time you guys saw it. When I bought this deck, I got it for like 400 bucks at Apex 5 wide. Pretty sweet deck, I got it raw. Then I made a video with John where we painted it and we painted it yellow. And we did a horrible job. I'm not a deck painter, so I'm probably not gonna do that again, especially with this new deck that I got. I'm probably never gonna paint it. I usually never buy scooter parts new because I used to be sponsored, I used to get free parts, so I wasn't really used to buying parts, but you know guys, you always have to support your local scooter shop. I guess I'm gonna plug the shop that I got this from. I got this from Metrics. All I'm gonna say, because they don't actually sponsor me anything. I do like Metrics a lot though, and I got this new deck. I asked you guys on Instagram what deck you guys thought I got. A lot of you guys were saying some mixed things. A lot of you guys were thinking the Hydra, the Theory, I don't really know what else you guys said because I didn't really pay attention, but got the new deck here I'm actually gonna blur it out because the box is gonna give away what deck it is kind of I'm gonna keep the box out of frame while I open it Yeah, I'm gonna kind of reveal it But actually before I get into it I'm gonna show you guys what my scooter looks like right now because it looks like poo So here's my current setup. I've got my ODI grips that are black I actually traded a red pair of grips and a sub for these. So black Reaper bars, these are like my go-to bars. I just wish there was no graphic here. Then we got the tilt double clamp. I left this thing out in the rain for two days though, so yeah, my bolts are uh, pretty rusty. We got the Lucky Covenant deck. Deck looks like literal garbage. It is so ugly. That's kind of why I got a new deck. Neochrome, tried to paint it black, looks awful. We got the Ethic Mara fork. Oh, everything's looking so rusty because I left it in the rain. And then the only like real nice thing on my setup is my Eagle wheels. These are the 115 sewer caps. Super sick wheels. These 115s are unreal. And to be honest with you guys, I like these ones more than Radix. They're not as wide. They're still 115, so they're faster than a 110 and they don't feel like all awkward and uh, gay. Kind of like a 120. You guys click this to unbox the best deck on the market, so we're gonna get into it. I wouldn't really say this is the best deck on the market. I'm probably gonna use that for clickbait though, so. Thanks. If you guys have been wondering why I haven't been posting a lot lately, the reason I haven't been posting is because I've just been lazy. My passion for YouTube isn't all there right now. I don't know what I want to do with my future because I'm only 18, but YouTube can definitely be a future for me if I keep it up and do good things. The deck opened up. I'm about to pull it out. I blur out the box because like it obviously gives it away. We're just going to pull the deck out all at once and just do a super epic reveal. So let's just get a drum roll going, guys. Okay. Okay, that's good. Here we go, deck reveal. Three, two, wait, what is that iCarly quote? In five, four, three, two. <laughs> Let's get it guys, let's go. Bought it on Metrics, I'm gonna believe it my address. Metrics, super dope shop. I buy all my parts from there. This guy right here, um, I got this from Metrics, first deal, so I do recommend buying from Metrics, but I'm not gonna really get into that right now today. Here's the deck, I actually got the Cody Flom V2 deck. I'm super hyped on it. Uh, the reason I got this deck is because my friend Yuli, you guys all know Yuli as like the single mode kid. Yuli has this deck and he was kind enough to let me put this deck that he has on my scooters so I could try it. I loved it, I thought it felt really sick. So I'm just like, you know what, I'm gonna get the Flom deck because the Covenant, just kind of feels like trash. I feel like this would look really good. So I cop the Cody Flom V2 deck. Let's just get into opening it real quick. I actually have an X-Acto knife today, guys. So I'm kind of prepared for this one. This one's the different one, I think. So there's two types of Cody Flom decks. I think I got the newer version. Something to do with the head tube having like a spike in it. Defected or what? But it has like some blue dots on it. Alright, so here's the deck guys. I'm sure you guys want to take a decent look at it before I actually like I asked them to put the grip tape on for me. I don't know if it comes on it, but they did put the grip tape on for me. Yeah, pretty sweet deck. It even comes with that Bible verse, I think it is. Cody Flom's favorite Bible verses he put on his deck. Here's the deck. I'm super hyped on it. I thought if I got this deck, I would be uh, better riding like Cody Flom. Came to realization that now that I have this deck, I pretty much have the same setup as Cody Flom. I only have two parts that he doesn't have. I'm riding, like I just showed you guys, the Ethic Mara fork in black. Cody is also riding that fork. I'm riding the Till Arc SCS in black. Cody's also riding that SES. And now I'm riding the same deck as him. So nice. I'm starting to feel like I'm copying Cody Flom, but I'm really not. I'm kind of just doing my own thing. We're hyped on it, guys. I like the graphic. I feel like there's not enough decks in there to have a graphic on the boat. Dude, the sun is like not letting the camera focus. He kind of looks like goofy on it. He looks like yellow. Pretty cool graphic. I don't really understand it exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna try to throw this on my deck. I don't even know if I have alley keys. I'm gonna do my best, so yeah, super hyped on it. Also guys, I haven't really been plugging the stickers like at all, so 
I kind of want to get rid of them. So I actually made these stickers myself, guys. They say scooters get female dogs. They're super sick stickers. These are what the last ones look like. I made these ones, I think, two years ago. They all sold out. There's only like 20 left of those in existence, but I thought I could make a better design. Yeah, here they are. This is the better design. I feel like you guys should definitely cop a few of these. So I'll put the prices of them on the screen. If you guys want any of these stickers, just make sure you guys DM me on Instagram and I will respond to you guys. And I will ship them out to you guys so you guys can have them on your scooter. Pretty much they're a dollar each and I accept PayPal and e-transfer. I don't really have a website yet because I don't know how to do that. Maybe one day I'll do a website, but you know I'm a flaker. So I throw this deck on and maybe get some clips. and do a quick condom trick. I feel like I need to do an earth turn every single video. There you go. I did an earth turn. Let's show you guys around my room a little bit though because it, it's kind of clean so I can show you guys my room a bit. There's my bed, it's so uncomfortable. I, I, I don't even know how I'm living with it. We got this Mac Miller thing on the wall, bought it for eight bucks. You guys know I was a big Mac Miller fan when I was little, so I had to call. I just got scooter parts all over the floor. I'm so rich, I'm obviously joking. I actually found this thing at a thrift store the other day. Uh, nice. Tommy Christiana, yeah, pretty hype. Tommy Christiana, if you're out there, I love you, and I wanna give you a big kiss. Just kidding. I, I do love you though, Tommy. I, I do think you're pretty sick. So uh, that's kind of like what I look like today, if you guys don't already know. Here's my fingerboard. I'm gonna do a fingerboard trick, actually. If you guys fingerboard, just just let me know if anyone else has this problem. When I'm fingerboarding, guys, I have this weird problem. I wanna know if I could diagnose it. So when I go for a trick, I, I go like this, like a few times before I do the trick. So say I wanted to kick flip, I go like, I shake before I do the trick, and I don't know why. Like, I've been doing that ever since I tech decked in like grade eight. There's a kickflip, it was so dirty, but you know, I had to get that kickflip done. Uh, I'm gonna try to toss this deck on real quick. So uh, that's what the scooter looks like before, if you guys are wondering. I, I, I just showed you what it looked like. So I'm gonna try to throw it on if I can uh, find some Allen keys. So yay. I've been looking for Allen keys around the house and we just moved here, so can't find any. Bummer. Look at the deck. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by these blue dots that I was talking about. It might be a little overexposed, so you can't see them. Look, see these right here? There's like, it's a lot more noticeable in person, but there's like blue dots. I have no idea what they are. It looks like someone washed it with Windex and like didn't wipe it off. I'm not a much of a complainer, but I want a full refund. Like what the fuck? Obviously joking guys, I honestly don't really care. I think I might just have to bust to Ziggy's, bring this deck because I don't have a ride right, guys, there. So this is pretty much me riding to the bus stop. It's gonna probably take me like an hour to get to the skate park. Pretty much, it started pouring rain and it is soaked outside so we can't ride. Met up with Yuli though, added Tim Hortons. So this is what I was kind of talking about. See how it's like arched right there? Well, Yuli's is like flat. It'd be kind of handy if you stood on the head too for hang fives, but you already know your boy Isaac doesn't do that. Might toss this on, but the weather side is looking absolutely Very greasy. This a uh, lucky SMX fork, I think it's supposed to be. Kind of looks like something a little different than a fork. It's even got the line right there and like a person looking at it and everything. So here's the custom build so far. Oh, money. Money moves. So the 115s are fitting. Extra room. You see you, Lee. Big space. Iced with how it turned out. No, I'm just kidding. Scooter looking so much better. We're actually gonna do before and after. Here it is. Mm. And before. He's so Huey actually cleaned up my fork and everything so you can Wait, actually see the Ethic logo. Yeah, everything's looking good, so we're gonna head to the park now, and if it's light enough, we're gonna get some clippers on it. Let's just do the two Cody forms next to each other. Yo. Well, I'll catch you guys at the park. Yeah. On our way to the park, gonna catch a quick drop test. Can't hear anything. <laughs> Came to the skate park. It's a little bit too wet. I mean, it probably doesn't look that bad on video. Scooter's feeling nice. I just feel like, I feel like I just need to cut these bars like an inch, maybe, I don't know. They are like, I think 28 or 20 and a half or something like that tall right now. I am happy with it. Try to get some clips. I don't know what I can do. Maybe just do a flip or something. Crispy clean. I'm gonna try to do something. Ooh. And do a few tricks, but like I'm not really in the mood. Please, your turn. Kickless Bry. Sure. Ooh. Uh, next, I will do a flip. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yes. Yeah, kind of a little bit sketchy, but. Back it up, double heel flash. That was so bad. Yeah, I think it's fine. How about a butter air? Cody Flom deck. Literally the best deck. What deck looks nicer than that? You'll get it. 